Hey PC gamers, what's going on? Welcome to my newest video and today I will be showing you how to set your computer to auto shutdown when Steam is finished with downloading whatever you put to download. First thing you're going to do is you go to Steam and you download the game. You, you let it to download. You go next, I agree, whatever. And the important thing is the download has to be running uh, before you open Steam Watcher and before you set it to finish its thing. Now this is not a program, this is a script. So first thing you're going to do after that, so that's technically a second thing, you just go, you go start, you type in PowerShell and you right click it, run as administrator just in case it doesn't work for you. You type in set execution, sorry, execution policy remote signed and I will put this command in the description along with the download link so you don't have to if you just in case you can't see it then you press enter um, you press Y and enter again and that's pretty much it and you only have to do this once have that in mind now you exit that go to Steam Watcher now have in mind there are a few features of it um, in, in, in the uh, Steam Watcher thing you open it and you can see the script right here so this is the interval this is pretty much how much the steam watcher will check your download so that this is the seconds if you set it to 60 seconds and for example somewhere in the middle of downloading the game suddenly stops your computer if it if it checks and nothing is downloading in uh, 60 seconds it will shut down the computer and your download won't even be finished you can you can put this up to a higher number also if you have a another steam folder that's not by the default um, on the C drive you can put that uh, right here for example my second one is on my secondary hard drive you go to Steam Apps folder you copy the link here and then delete pretty much everything from this area right here but you leave these these two thingies um, on and then in the middle you CT control uh, V you know paste it back and um, it will pretty much detect it for you. So after you're done with that, um, you can just uh, exit and save it. Now, of course, if it's uh, on a normal uh, C drive, you don't have to do anything. It will automatically detect it for you. So then you go, right click in Steam Watcher, run, run with PowerShell, and as you can see here, it recognized the directory. Next thing you're supposed to do is just press Y, enter, and leave the leave everything running and it will do its thing that's pretty much it if you got any more questions you guys can uh, post them in the comment section below if you like what we do check out our other videos and subscribe for more peace